Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, everybody? Thanks for hanging tight. Like I said, I was I walked my dog right before I was getting ready to hop online, and literally as soon as I hit go live, she came down to me and started to ask me to go outside frantically. So I think she's having a little bit of an upset tummy, but I took her back out again. She went to the bathroom, so hopefully we're good. I hope everybody's good out there. How is the nine hole cup going to start off? What's up, large mouth? James, David, Jeffrey, Flappy. How's it going, everybody? All right, cool. So I have been getting asked like crazy, man, through Facebook Messenger and through the comments section of the video, which I love. Uh, people want to know what the progress on my two new rookie accounts are that I've been building and I guess it's gotten a lot of hype because people are loving it. People are messaging me like crazy. And they asked if I could hop on and give an update. So here I am. I'm going to give you an update. I started two new rookie accounts. Okay, so this is number one uh, right here. So we're about 192 games into uh, basically most of that tour number two, right? I think all but 11 games. Now, the thing is, is I haven't been speed opening chest. I've been waiting to do that on a live stream. So what I've been doing is just trying to build my bankroll a little bit, right? So that when I do open chest, I can start to upgrade the clubs are going to be important. OK, uh, that's one account. Um, and then if you look in here. Oh, I didn't realize that was all asterisked out in the clan name. Got to fix that. OK, if you look in here. Then I've also started this account as well, 152 games in. Um, this would be my other rookie account that I'm building up to play rookie tournaments. This one's on a 47-game winning streak. Uh, Kratos, my other account, got up to a 51-gamer, uh, you know, but I lost it. There's one hole, shootout hole on tour number two. You know, more times than not, it just comes down to luck with a draw. And, you know, I've had some luck on it. And I've had some uh, some not so luck on it. So it's that one that goes like from the right down. You know, it's just kind of like a like a lottery hole when you have you know basic clubs. You don't have a ball guideline, so you just kind of try to get the ball to roll down the hill, and you know it does what it does. All right, cool. So here is what we are going to do. Um, here's what we're going to do in this video. Okay, so remember the goal of my two rookie accounts is for me to max out the clubs as soon as possible, right? And on this stream, I purposely did not collect rewards throughout the past couple of days because I wanted to do that live with everybody so we can see if we get an epic win on a chest like we did on the first stream, or maybe it'll be a flapper. But either way, you know, we're going to be collecting club cards. That's the name of the game. I'm also going to take some golden shots with you live. I have not played the golden shot yet on any of my accounts this week. So this will be my first looks at it. And um, and let me show you the progress, okay? So if you remember, we opened that $5 chest. We had a donation come in from DCM. And we bought the $5 ball package. And we just absolutely had the best chest possible. So right now we're at an extra mile three, horizon two, backbone five, runner two. We've got a firefly, which is a really good club for this early in the stage. And everything else is just kind of whatever. Okay. So uh, let's go in here. Uh, the first thing that we'll do, let's go in here and collect the rewards and see what we get. All right. So we are collecting a chest. Tier number 14. Okay, there's an extra mile card. I mean, that's what we're hunting. So that's good. We got a lot of dark cards. I'm not really messing with that club, though, because we have the Firefly. We have a Titan, Quasar. All right, no big deal. No. Now let's go in here and collect some of these points so we can open up more rewards. Like I said, I've been I've been saving to do this. The 500, that's going to be the big one. That's going to boost us up a couple reward slots. And then I didn't spend any money on the season pass. It's not worth it to me um, on these levels. We're going to take the free golden shot, so we're going to get that. 
Yes, the Firefly is the bomb early on for sure. Yes, Steve, building bankroll on tour two is kind of funny. It definitely is. You know, it's a lot of long, long work. But I tell people that the end result is going to be we'll be smashing once we start to move up to the tours for sure. All right. I purposely left this one right here. My plan is to collect the last, you know, 3,000 yards, give or take seven yards there. We're going to collect that one live, which is going to boost our reward points as well. So we got a lot of good stuff. This isn't going to be a long stream. We should be able to knock this all out within about 20 or 30 minutes. And let's see what we have here. Very nice. So for sure, we're going to get here when we get that 500. And here we go. We're going to collect another chest here. That's a lot of that's a lot of coins for early on in the game. That's really nice. 2100. That's a lot of gems that's going to help us open chest. Another horizon. Okay, not too concerned about that. 32 rocket. Now we're going to take that even though we're not going to use the rocket club because ultimately, you know, the goal here is to get one club maxed out so that we start to use a prism chest. I know you think that's a lot, but I'm telling you, uh, the way that I have this set up, it, we're going to be able to do that. I will upgrade that runner. And, you know, we'll take these balls for later on. Another whole explosion thing. Okay, so now let's go in here and take a look at the clubs. So right now we are using the runner. Um, ultimately, what I want to do here is hopefully get the Kingfisher unlocked as that's a club that I really use more early on because of that awesome backspin and the ball guideline. But of course, once we jump from Tour 2 right to Tour 6, we're going to be using that thorn like crazy. Yeah, I don't ever use the practice tokens. I think I've taken one practice shot in the entire game for tournaments. All right, so we're going to upgrade the runner because uh, this is a club that I use and the ball guideline sucks. It looks, you know, it's just like straight up in the air. It looks like the ball is going to go 100 miles past where you aim. So we'll take a little bit better ball guideline. And everybody knows I'm a big backspin player. So, you know, we definitely love to see the backspin here. We open up some backspin. We'll go ahead and do this one too. All right. So that's where we're at as far as that goes. So we've accomplished a couple goals already. Okay, now we're going to head into the golden shot. And like I said, this is my first time playing the golden shot this week. But, um, you know, I do have my notes here from Golf Clash Tommy's website. I've, I've been using this for the golden shots ever since I've, uh, you know, learned about his channel. So I'm kind of reading it. Sorry. Bottom of the red ring by the rough with the ball guideline at the hole before the spin. So that's huge. You know, it's hard to look at his landing zone here. It's kind of blurry. But it looks like we should get close. So let's go ahead and, and do some golden shots. We'll buy a couple, too. Uh, we'll do, you know, a couple hard, depending on, on how we do. Then we'll hop over and we'll do a couple golden shots medium. Now, you might be wondering why I even mess with the medium golden shot. Yeah, but um, you might be – let me do this before I get sidetracked. I tend to do that. You might be asking why I mess with the medium golden shot because this is going to be rookie tournament accounts. Now, I'm still months away from that based off my plan, but I want to rack up as many kingmakers as possible. Obviously, we use those on headwind par fives even in rookie. It's a valuable ball. And – Flappy, to answer your question, if you unlock T4, then the golden shot chest are T4, which can unlock the thorn or arf rotor. Yes, 100% correct, my friend. The thing is, though, is I don't want to do that yet. I am, I am using the game's algorithms to my advantage. So if I stay in Tor 2 and only open Tor 2 chest, right, and whatever I get in the golden shot, which I think is probably going to be tour three. I think it's typically one level above, but we'll check it. Um, yeah, tour three. So what happens is if I if I unlock tour three and tour four chest, I have that many more club options in my bag unlocked. I do not want that to happen. I want to make the game force feed me every single time I open the chest the same cards. So like right now, the game can only give me Rocket. They can only give me 
extra mile. They can only give me backbone. They can only give me Viper, Horizon, Firefly, Runner. You know, but obviously I'm going to get the common ones first in big chunks. As you see, we got 32 rocket cards with that one chest. If I had more clubs unlocked, then what would happen is they would they would divvy it up into smaller portions. They might give me one extra mile, 12 runner, one horizon, three off-roader, yada, yada, yada. We want the minimum amount of clubs unlocked as possible so the game just feeds us these clubs nonstop so that we can eventually get one maxed out to open up the prism chest. So it's using the algorithms to our advantage. I hope that answers what I'm trying to do here. Okay, 6.3 blowing from left to right. Three and a half back spin. 0.7 right. I guess we'll go with that. 4.6 rings. Oh, we hit a perfect ball. That's nice considering I didn't play any warm-up games or anything. Oh, oh, let's go, baby. Come on. That's the way to do it. Very nice. All right, so let's see what happens here. The bounce in. Here we go. Ooh, that's a great one. Eight Firefly, one away. Very nice. Fifteen Vipers. Got the big topper. Okay. And the nine Berserkers on a brand new account. So look at that. What do you know? All right. I'm going to tell you what. That was fun. Shall we give her another spin? And we only unlock the big topper, which is fine, because I'll, I'll explain why that's okay. So 7-9 going right to left. 7-9 going right to left. I always say it like out loud or in my head so I don't forget. Right to left, right to left. Straight crosswind. 3.8 back. This is about the highest wind you can get on the golden shot, too. They must be, uh, they must not be happy with my hole in one. Okay. Couldn't really see the ring there on that angle. Hey, we got another perfect ball, though. I don't think it's going to be a hole-in-one, but maybe it'll be the red ring or something. Ooh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. Yeah, I'm only buying uh, a couple shots because of the hole-in-one. I'm not going to spend five bucks when I've already cleared out the hole-in-one on the free shot. Horizon? Come on, give me one flyer fly, dude. All right, that's okay. Ten berserkers. Okay, we're good. Let's do one more. We'll do one more on this one. Okay. Now, uh, Steve, you said hopefully I don't unlock a bunch of T3 clubs. Yeah, we don't want to, but the good news is, is remember, I'm not going to play Tour 3. So I'm going to go back and only play Tour 2. So I'm only going to get those Tour 2 club cards. So I shouldn't really get many big topper cards sent to me. Yeah, I do agree, Flappy. I used to do that too, but most of my accounts are good with Berserkers to where I don't really need to spend the full five bucks anymore. I can usually accomplish what I want to in, in two to three bucks. Ooh, this is a challenging win here. This will be a harder one. It's another high ring pool. I 
at least we're hitting perfect balls, man. Come on. Okay. You know what? We're, we're going to stop there. We're going to take the hole in one. We'll take the red ring. We'll call it a good one. Hey, Andre, how are you, buddy? Yes. Nice. That's a huge win for tour number two to get that Firefly three. three 13 Zerks on a brand new account. Huge. So we're going to take that. We're for sure. Oh, and we got this one open. We're doing everything live here. You know, it's fun. You know, like, we got the Firefly, right? Like, it's going to give us a big advantage in Tour 2. And it's a club we're just going to forget about <laughs> as we get later on into the game. But it's exciting, you know, starting over again and building these accounts and helping people on the way. What's up, Patrick? I mean, look at that. We're going to have accuracy go up. We're going to have ball guideline go up. It's already got a great ball guideline as it is, especially this early into the game, right? Okay. So... Last thing here, well, two things. Now we will play the medium golden shot. And the only reason we're playing medium is because this is a brand new account. And remember, ultimately, this is going to turn into my rookie account. Oh, hey, Andre, I'm, I'm glad you liked the bin, uh, the bin stream that we did. That was a lot of fun. That's probably the most fun I've ever had on a live stream, man. Ben's a cool dude. I'm glad I met him. Uh, he's a great host, and that was fun to play. He had a little trick up his sleeve with that, uh, with the dunk hole. He, you know, he got one over on me, but that was a lot of fun. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I just realized that I don't have <laughs> I don't have the guide for this. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh well. That was a waste of a dollar. Oops, I forgot to pull the guide up for a medium. Perfect ball at least, but I have no idea what the spot is here. Yeah. All right. Ah. Hey, hey, what's up? Thanks for making it. I can't believe I did that. So, rookie mistake. Oh, well. We're good on golden shots. So, we got the hole in one on the hard edition. So, we can't, uh, we can't complain. So, here's what that looks like again. Yeah, Andre, I just, um, I forgot to pull up the guide. So, okay, that stuff's done. Now let's let's do some of the fun stuff. Let's spin some gems here to open these up, see how we do. Backbone's getting close to a six. That'll be huge. After this, we're going to hop into some games. All right, let's try for a match. I'm getting ready to hop on, so let's see what we can do. All right, we're up against A.A. Ron. Here we go. Uh, Steve, I only think it... Um, is worth to buy the season pass. Now, this is my opinion, and this is how I do it. I only think it's worth it if you're in a competitive clan and you are pushing for a C100 run. To me, that's it. You know, because some of those things that you can unlock with the money give you, you know, like 70%, 88% CP bonus. I think those little things are worth it. Now, if you're a fan of some of the funny little emojis and things that you can say, um, like it's worth it there. I think they got me on the first season with, uh, they had the one where uh, you could get the nice balls 
right? Little uh, text thing you could put on there. So I was like, I saw that. I was like, oh, I'll spend $10 just to get that. But, um, you know, so it just depends, man. It just depends on what you're doing. But it doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't give you any more chest or anything like that to unlock. You can unlock all the chests for free, which is important when it comes to upgrading the clubs. So for me, you know, it, for me at the beginning stages of building a, t a new account, I would not pay ten dollars for the season pass okay what i would pay ten dollars for is the 1200 gems that you could buy in the store because 1200 gems is going to let you open like what 50 what is seven yeah i don't know like 70 silver chests i don't know if that math is right but it's close because 50 silver chests like it's, it's 20 per one. So 50 silver chests is a thousand gems. But you're going to get to open up a whole bunch. Hey, the ball guy line is better on this club now. I still don't know how far it's going to go, but we'll see. What's up, James? How are you, sir? There we go. <laughs> we got that upgraded ball guy line. Helps us drop the eagle. Good, James. I'm glad you like the videos, man. Like I said, people been blowing me up to get on here and give progress. I'm very surprised about that. I mean, it's cool, but I got eight messages yesterday from different people just through Facebook saying, hey, when are you doing the next update? When are you getting back on to show us the progress? So here I am. I, I did not plan on doing this week, doing any more this week. Okay, so we need to play probably five or six more games. And then we're going to end the stream with that 500 points for the season rewards. Yes, yeah, Steve, you are absolutely correct, man. Firefly and Kingfisher, those are, as a game changer early on, especially like for me, I plan on spinning. Like I don't want to commit to a number, but I'm going to be in tour two for a minimum of probably 600 games, I would imagine. It's not just going to depend how lucky I get with these extra mile cards. But I'm trying to be super patient this time around. I'm going to try to get to a prism chest. I don't know if I got that much time to wait because people are begging me to do expert walkthroughs. So in order for me to get to expert walkthroughs, I can play expert. It's not a problem. I've played it many times in the past. But, uh, you know, in order for me to do expert walkthroughs, I don't want to stop doing rookie and I don't want to stop doing pro. So I have to get these accounts to rookie status and I don't want to lose a beat on my rookie either. I want to continue to play with the same clubs that I do because I get a lot of great feedback on it. Like people love it. So keep it going, baby. What level extra mile will you move on to T6? Lucas, it all depends on time frame. What I've done in the past is an extra mile uh, five and six. And still, that is plenty of horsepower for tour number six, man. Um, you know, we typically will just be smashing our way through wins at a very fast rate. Uh, I would like to be a little greedy, to be honest with you. I would like to get to a seven or an extra mile eight on these accounts based off what I'm trying to do before I go to tour six. And if I have the patience to pull that off, I mean, uh, it will pay dividends in the long run for sure when it comes to a prism chest perspective. But we'll see. I shanked this one, but I should be okay. Yeah, I do love that runner. That runner's a great club early on for sure. Oh, nice, Sonia. Almost a Kingfisher level three. That's really good. I don't know if you're following the the the, blah, 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 the same strategy as me or not, but if you got a king if you got a Kingfisher three 
and you've only been in tour two and not passed it. That's that's an amazing accomplishment. Dan inspired to start a fourth account. I'm going to try this strategy. Thanks for the videos. You're welcome, Dan. I'm glad people like it. I didn't know how people would respond to it, but I figured I needed to build new accounts anyways. And I, I get asked a common question on how do I build accounts. So I figured, shoot, I'll just hop online and show you everybody how I do it, you know? Uh, Jay, 100%, buddy. Always play basic balls in tour number two. Always. Always play basic balls in tour number two, tour number three, tour number four. If you want to start using Marlins in tour number five, I'm not going to knock you for it at all. I'm not going to knock anybody for using any ball. I said that the wrong way. Um, heck, you know, use Marlins in tour number two if you want to. You're going to get to the point where you got a gazillion of them falling out of your mouth anyways. So you might as well. Um, but uh, I'm not going to play any ball other than a basic ball until I get to tour six. Tour six, I'll switch to Navigator. I know it's uh, plenty of horsepower for Tour six, but that's my ball of choice. That's a ball that once I learned how to play the game, that I chose to be the one because I like the wind resistance two, power one, side spin one, plenty of juice for Tour number six. And, uh, you know, that's just how I taught myself to play the game once I knew the mechanics of the game. Ooh, look at that one, baby. Four extra mile cards in the gold chest. I'm telling you, tour number two is where the extra miles are at. Dude, Steve. <laughs> Steve Steve says snow globes in tour number one. So he's uh, whacking the ball out of bounds every time. Going past the pin up there in, what is it, Meadows Castle or whatever it's called. Uh, Jay, no pro content tonight. Uh, asking for a friend. No, tomorrow, dude. I was off to a blazing start on pro, okay? Pro was going really good until I got to the second par five, and then somehow I double birdied it on both of my accounts. So um, I played a couple more holes to see if I would pick up an extra drop, and I didn't. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pause here, and then I'll finish – uh, tomorrow start all over tomorrow I should say right but I've got all the good replays right here on my iPad I'm playing on right now buddy I got some good ones in there for you but it'll be out tomorrow man so tomorrow morning I'll be up at five to get pro done and I've got a very long day at work tomorrow I gotta work tomorrow from 8 30 in the morning till 7 30 at night so it's uh, going on 9 o'clock at night here. And, you know, I've been up since 4.30 this morning when I started Rookie. I can give you a sneak peek of Pro if you want, though. I got, Like I said, I got some replays here. All right, come on. What do I do for work in real life? I work uh, for a telecommunications company. Man, that, that runner upgrade is paying dividends for us already as we're dropping a couple shots here. Can't get a matchup. Yeah, it's hard to match up, especially because I think you're overseas too, right? So I'm just, I don't... The, it'll be hard for you and I to match up.
All right, so. Oh, King of the Common. That's another thing. I didn't know that one. All right, we're closing in on that as well. The good old Netherlands. I've never been there. Would like to. Now, I will say, um, oh, very nice. Here we go. Boy, we're getting some good stuff on stream. Let's open it up. Let's see what we get. <laughs> There's that big top person to come back to bite us. That's the bad thing about opening up a T3. So if we wouldn't open up that T3 chest in the golden shot, then that big topper would have been something else. See what I mean? 19 dart. That's good. Those clubs are getting up there. Ooh, 26 viper. That's a lot of cards. You know, that was a kind of a, that was a crappy one. Yes, there is, Tim. Uh, difficult for me to do at this juncture of the game, though, to take that shot. When I can just take it from the left-hand side and see if I can drop that runner shot, which we dropped a couple times already. But definitely agree with you. I know I know what you're talking about in the middle of the trees there. Ooh, we're getting close to the extra mile four. All right, Jay, if you're on, I'll show you what I've been working on here, buddy. Pro qualifying. Pro qualifying, check this out. Hole number one. Got a shot for you. So we're dropping the eagle on hole number one. Went two for two on that one. Hole number two. Look at hole number two real quick on pro. I'm fast forwarding to not send too much time. Perfect ball. Oh, get an all. Right? Hole number three, you know, did okay on hole number three. But, you know, I just wanted some more cracks at some of this stuff. Look at this one right here. I'm working on getting this one dialed in for everybody. This is a little bit different shot. I don't think we'll see many people take this Guardian shot. But um, this is hole number four in pro. A little sneak peek for tomorrow. In there, Ooh, we're close. So you know, I think we're gonna get there on some of these holes. And if I don't, you know, you will, right? That's how we do it on this channel. We take my misses and try to convert them for you to make. All right. Good luck, Mr. Tiger's Wood. Yeah, Steve, not many Guardian Nines in Pro for sure. You're right. That is why I am eagerly trying to get, you know, that account and my Big Daddy account to expert. You know, those clubs are just too good to be playing pro, man. Um, but the thing about the Guardian is it's not going to matter. This guy's got an extra mile fiber playing. Like, we're, anybody with a Guardian, I don't care if you have a Guardian 6, you're going to be able to play that same shot because all we're going to be doing is just having you mimic my landing spot. That's it. At that point, I don't care what level your Guardian is. You play Guardian 6, 7, 8, 9. We're just going to mimic my landing spot. We're going to go full backspin because that Guardian is going to have the full backspin. And we're just going to be playing what I call landmark positions. And if we can just mimic that and find the hole in one line, your Guardian level is not going to matter. I think that's always important for people to note.
Ew, what a terrible shot, David. Come on. Well, we're going to lose this hole. That was a really bad shot. That might be a tough putt, though. We'll try to dunk it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm human, buddy. I'm also really, really, really tired. <laughs> What's up, Travis? How are you, buddy? What's up, Caleb? I can just tell by looking at myself in this camera here. My eyes are tired. But this is a hard putt. We might get bailed out to go to a shootout. Oh, I completely understand, Jay. Jay, I might not qualify tomorrow either. I might go out here and just hit great like crazy and screw myself and not qualify in pro. But, you know, it is what it is. Shot a disappointing minus 12 in master. Come on, buddy. Come on. You're good. You're a great player, Travis. Did you qualify day one? And for anybody who doesn't know, Bubba, oops, in chat, his name is Travis. I try to call people their name that I know. All right, it's a draw. Come on. All right, Jay, you have a good night, buddy. Take it easy. Uh, uh, my, my win streak's not very good on this account, Richard. 10. But my win streak on this account is really good at 47 right now. <laughs> yeah, I figured so, Steve. Figured that would be the case, my friend. Ooh, great ball. Come on. Yeah, David, I figured that was your name, too, since it says David right there. 99. We're almost there, guys. He wants to play again. All right, buddy. Well, we can do that if you'd like. I don't normally rematch on Tour 2 because sometimes I feel bad, you know, for taking people's beginning coins. But if they send me a rematch, I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead and do it, you know. I think three games we'll be able to open that last one and then call it a day. All right, Andre, thanks for coming in, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thanks, as always, for being a member to the channel, my friend. So what? We're at 11 now, right? Yeah, we're at 11. So it was at 51. 51 yesterday, and then a guy hit a hole in one on that dang shot where the ball rolls down the hill. You know, that was a crap shoot, man.
Yep, that's just veterans starting new accounts, Caleb. You are 100% correct, buddy. And hopefully they're doing it for the right reasons. Well, there is no right reason. It's a game. Anybody can play it the way that you want to. But for me, I'm just doing it to quickly build accounts so that I can get more content on YouTube for everybody. For expert division. Ooh, came close. Hey, if people watching wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button or just a second to like the video, that would be appreciative. Thank you, David. Thank you, Steve. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, you can click the link there and become a member. You can, uh, you know, come to our Facebook chat. If you wanted to start a new account and uh, have some fun and be in a really chill, low-level clan, I started this one for members only. This is the hole right here, man, that Typically when I lose a game, it's because of this hole. All right, Andre, good night, buddy. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Who knows what will happen here? 1.54. That's mediocre. No hole in one for me, maybe for our opponent. Uh, this is, I, I've lost, almost all of my losses have come on this hole. Like I said, it just it's just luck of the draw sometimes. Yeah, see what I mean? 1.54 to 1.5. You got me. Yeah, definitely, definitely later on in the game, you have to get within half a yard because you have the ball guideline to use rings, and you don't have to depend on the funnel. But early on, we have to depend on that funnel there just to roll us towards the hole. So, but like I said, like, I think every loss but four has come to that hole. Okay, but look, see, this guy is doing the same thing. So this guy's got 1,400 games in, 73% winning percentage. Uh, Travis, I don't invite anybody to this clan because this clan is for paid members of the channel only. What's up, John? How are you? But uh, my criteria whenever I'm in, let's say I'm in a clan that's doing a C100 push, I only invite people if they have a ton of CP. But that's hard to gauge because a lot of people like myself do rest accounts, right? So I might have an account this season with no CP, only tournament CP. And then I might make that my grinding account next season, right? And go put up 10,000. But uh, I typically will only invite players if I know they're a big grinder 
if I'm in a competitive clan or I will invite anybody that has multiple banners. Come on, let's get these 10,000 yards or 100,000 yards so we can go to bed. But Travis, you know what I mean, man. You have accounts too where you, I think you have rest season accounts, right? Where you don't play an account for a season, only tournaments. And then you alternate accounts and play that one the next season. That's what I do. Well, there's nothing wrong with third place, David. That's good, buddy. Son of a gun. Come on. Well, at least we'll go to the shootout and pick up more yards on that competition. What's up, Robert? Good to see you in the chat, buddy. We're winding this one down. We're almost done. We're just trying to get the last reward. Nice job, Tim, with the gold. Yeah, buddy. Oh, here we go again with this hole, man. This hole right here. No, not even close to being full, Travis. Not close at all, buddy. I just started it yesterday or the day before. Yeah, th this clan is two days old. You know, this time we pick up the hole in one. So, oh, that's a great idea, Tim. Put their their most CP ever earned in a season. All right, this is the last thing we're doing on stream here, guys. I appreciate you hanging out. Hit that thumbs up button before you leave, please. If you'd like to become a member, uh, please hit the uh, the link in the video. <laughs> We're just there at the cusp of it, so. Mm. 30 remaining. Uh, we don't have our next challenge for 20 hours. And we don't have the gems to pick up. The last 30 so I'll record it whenever I open it I'll record it and then whenever I do an updated video for this series here I will uh, let you know what we got I appreciate everybody watching don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and I will see you tomorrow for pro have a good night everybody I'm going to bed <laughs>